Our lecture today is about the cell structures and functions. Our objectives, first of all, to describe the human cell compartments, describe the structure of plasma membrane and explain its functions. Principles of cell physiology. First of all, the cell is the basic living unit of the body. About 100 trillion cells of different types of specialized cells are present in a human body. Red blood cells constitute 25 billion, the most abundant type of cells. The cells aggregated to form the tissue, and the tissue form the organs, and then the systems, and this is uh, situated in the body. Although the many cells of the body differ markedly from each other, all of them have contained the basic structures. Parts of the cells. First of all, cell membrane or plasma membrane. Second, cytoplasm. And third, the nucleus. Plasma membrane, and the name we we'll call it the plasma lemma, or we call it the cell membrane, is a thin, elastic structure, only 7.5 nanometer thick, composed mainly from lipid and proteins, exhibit the mosaic pattern called fluid mosaic model. It separates the intracellular fluid from extracellular fluid. It is a selectively permeable membrane which regulates the transport of substances into and out of the cell allows some substances to pass through it and exclude others. Nucleus and other organelles are also surrounded by a similar membrane. Structure of plasma membrane. First structure, the phospholipid, about 25%, proteins, 55%, cholesterol, 13%, and other lipid and uh, also carbohydrates. This is a picture about the plasma membrane. We talk about the phospholipids. They form the basic lipid bilayer of the cell membrane. Thin double layer uh, of the lipid. Each layer is one molecule thick and it con and continues over the entire cell surface. The proteins are interspread in this lipid film. The shape of each phospholipid molecule is roughly like a shape of a clothes pin, يعني مثل الدمبوس. The polar or hydrophilic head end of the molecule contains a phosphate portion and glycerol conjugated to choline or serine and it is soluble to water. The nonpolar or the hydrophobic tail is consists of two fatty acid chains that is water insoluble. Usually, one fatty acid is saturated, citrate tail, and the other unsaturated, kinked tail, يعني متعرج. Both these chains are linked covalently to the glycerol component of the polar head. The hydrophilic heads lie at the outer and inner faces of the cell membrane, and the hydrophobic tails project towards the middle of the bilayer. وعندنا هنا صور توضيحية توضح لنا the uh, head and the tail of the lipid bilayer. By this arrangement, the middle of the membrane is impermeable to water-soluble substances like glucose, urea, and ions, while the fast soluble substances just like the oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide can easily penetrate the cell membrane. The phospholipids molecule can rotate and move sideways in their own half of the lipid bilayer, gives the fluidity property of the plasma membrane. We talked now about the cholesterol. Has a rigid structure that embedded between the phospholipids molecule, stabilize the cell membrane, and reduce the natural mobility of the complex lipid in the membrane. So, a decrease in the fluidity of the membrane resulting from the increase in the cholesterol, and this will going to impair 
their functions. This is a picture about the cholesterol in the cell membrane. We talked uh, about the proteins. The protein molecule make up about 55% of the total plasma limit mass and they are divided into two groups according to their situations in the cell membrane, according to their place to integral or myosomable transmembranous and the peripheral or myosomable superficial proteins. The integral proteins, another name semi transmembranous protein, are either embedded in the lipid bilayer or pass through it completely. يعني يخترق ال ال lipid bilayer إلى داخل ال الخلية من الخارج إلى داخل الخلية. The peripheral proteins are not embedded, rather they are loosely associated with the inter internal and external surfaces of the cell membrane. يعني ذلك سميناه superficial لأنه و يعني مكان يكون سطحي. Most of the compositions is by uh, the integral proteins are majority of them pass through the entire thickness of the cell membrane and therefore we call it the transmembrane. يعني يخترق lipid bilayer ويعني يعبر من من خارج الخلية إلى داخل الخلية إلى الحد السيتوبلازم. This is a picture that uh, show us the uh, compositions of the cell membrane and their situations. Now, the functions of proteins in the membrane. First of all, the structural proteins uh, contribute to the structure of the cell membrane. It is the basic unit for the cell membrane, building up the cell membrane. Act uh, as cell adhesion molecules that anchor the cells to their neighboring uh, or uh, the basal lamina. طبعاً عادة uh, يعني just like uh, we call it the communications between the cell membranes act as a channels through which the uh, small water soluble substances can diffuse act as a carrier act as a pump which transport ions across the cell act as a receptors that bind the neurotransmitters bind hormones uh, drugs act as enzymes catalyze the reactions at the cell surfaces contribute the formations of glycoclex glycoclex هو عبارة عن فد مادة تتكون من كربوهيدرات and lipid ونسميها glycoproteins و carbohydrate and protein ونسميها glycoproteins في الglycoprotein and glycolipid يسوي لي glycoclex اللي هو عبارة عن كربوهيدرات مع بروتين مع lipid So the carbohydrate attached to the outer surface of the cell membrane form a coat called glycoclex which has several functions what are the functions of glycoclex? First of all, many of the carbohydrates are negatively charged, which gives the most cells an overall negative surfaces charges that repel other negative objects. So it acts as out going to help the cell membrane to select the passage of the ions and substances. The carbohydrate of some cells attach to the carbohydrates of other cells. So it uh, serves as a communications between the cells together. Some carbohydrates act as a receptors, just like the proteins, for the bind, to bind the hormones, bind the uh, neurotransmitters, and some of them uh, can act uh, or can help in the immune reactions. Now, in general, the functions of the cell membrane, first of all, Mechanical structure, maintain the physical integrity of the cell, give the personality to the cell, protect the cell from the uh, outside surfaces. The second uh, function, selective permeability, gases and small molecules can easily pass through it while other substances can, should pass within a limit, within a rules. Now, trans, uh, trans, uh, transportions of certain molecules pass through uh, the passive and some of them pass uh, very easily passively and other need uh, various uh, transporters the communications between the cells contains receptors which recognize and respond to specific signals this is a picture that uh, give us the idea about the uh, 
uh, content of the cell membrane and their distributions. Now, the intercellular communications, we have two types of communication. We, can, we have my semi electrical communications, another name semi gap junctions, where we have the chemical communications, yani, the hormones, trans, neurotransmitters, or other uh, chemical substances. Now, in general, the cell is the basic living unit of the body. Parts of the cells usually composed from cell membrane, my semi plasma membrane, or plasma limit cytoplasm and nucleus بس هذا مو معناته انه كل الخلايا لازم تحتوي على النيوكليس لا انه يعني وانما بالغالب الكبير انه الخلايا الحيه تحتوي على النيوكليس وانما بعض الخلايا قد لا تحتوي على النيوكليس لكن احنا نحكي عن الغالبيه انه يجب ان تحتوي على النيوكليس The plasma membrane is the same permeable lipid bilayer composed mainly from the lipid and proteins and exhibit the mosaic pattern called fluid mosaic pattern لأنه تتكون من عدة مواد بروتين وكربوهيدرات وكوليسترول ولبيد ولذلك يعني يسميها موزايك يعني متعددة المواد ومتعد يعني ما تتكون من مادة واحدة and there are electrical and chemical intercellular communications Now we have some questions about our uh, lecture and uh, uh, we finish our lecture today. Thank you.